Hello everyone. Today we are going to take our project to the next level. Today we are going to create an app. A Django app is it is going to be used to host our templates and to host our static, which will take us more this course uh, for understanding the HTML and CSS. So without much Wasting your time, let's get started. First, I shown you last time how to find our project. We just click here and click the files in the PyCharm and open and go to the PyCharm project where you get web dev. Then you click here to open. Click here to open. Say okay. Let's open it to new window. And yes. Now remember we are going to develop, we are going to do all our, our coding in VS Code. So that's why we come here to this uh, drop down uh, uh, drop down menu and we choose the git bash. And we click on git bash. Then we open our project inside the PS code like this. We type code space dot or period. Then we click enter. All right, that's come. Let me minimize it for a minute. Okay. Now we are going to create our first Django application and how do we create it it is simple we use the method we used to run our default django page and it's like this python manage dot py now it's not running server we are going to start project. Not a project, but start app. Remember, we are creating app. We already created project last time. So Python manage.py start app. Let's give us uh, our app name. Let's it call the, our app name the home. Home. Call it Home Hub. So many names can occur, but let's call it our Hub Home Hub for the convention. And then we click on Enter key. And yes, our application has already created. When you want to know how it has been created, you can go to the VS code where we are running our our, v, uh, our, our project this is a web dev we have home application we have online shop remember this is a this is a major project or the main project and then then the app the first app remember this is a Django based e-commerce project and there are so many apps that we are going to be creating as we continue with this but for now we are going to look at the basics of the hub or the development of the website whereby we shall deep dive in HTML we shall deep dive in CSS we shall also deep dive in bootstrap we shall also deep dive in javascript and jquery and then dom manipulation then after dom manipulation is then when we are going to be creating those apps the other apps for the accounts for the store app all those but for just to look at it right now 
we can open and see what is it inside this app. For example, oh yes, it hasn't got migration, it hasn't got init.py file, it hasn't got admin.py file, it hasn't got hubs.py, it hasn't got models.py, it hasn't got test.py, it hasn't got views.py. All this we shall be discussing them as the Python files. But uh, for now, uh, we are going to use for basic website development, we are going to use views most, mostly, and we are also going to use uh, URLs. And URLs is is actually openly uh, used here in the main Django project. This one is the is the URLs. So we are also going to create our own URLs here next time when we meet. And also we are going to see settings right now. Let's open settings. And you see, there is so many things in the settings, but by convention, these are things that are come previewed by the Django project. Now, for us, we have created an app. This app we have created, we have to make our main project you know there is app that has been created. And the question is, where are we going to make it known by the main project that we are using it? We go to the insert apps in the main Django project. Our, for our case, it is here. It is called the online shop. And online shop, you go to settings. When you open settings, you come here and you find some previewed code for example we have this one called the installed apps so in the installed app we are going to mention the app that we have built and that is called the home app so we write it here the home app like that and we put the comma okay so that is that is that and remember we are using vs code we must save because it is not going to save automatically so you control s then that is saved now now after creating the first app we are going to to use this app to learn more about the Django. We are going to create a website. We are going to, do, to style website. We are going to use static. We are going to use a template. Template, by the way, in those who are aware about JavaScript, we call them index.html. And here we are going to, to, to create an, a, a folder known as template whereby the all HTML files are going to be contained and also we are going to create another folder known as static where all JavaScript code and CSS code and images and and also some 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 jQuery code will be hosted now today we have successfully created app called home app this one and we have seen in home app we have migrations this migration remember it is very big topic that we are going to be handling it later because it's involving the database we have in dot in it dot five we are also going to be using admin in the database we are going to use these uh, views very very much in this one and we are going to use models that files in 
this less in, in this uh, course but uh, what i want you to understand next time when we meet we shall create two apps one is called static and the other one is called the templates templates for hosting html files and static for hosting css javascript and maybe images right so uh, that is what we are going to do next time and also in next time we shall go we are going to configure those html and static files so that they can link well with our project so today we have we have no much to say other than creating the first app and including it into the uh, Django hubs uh, where they are installed and the next time is when we are going to configure this app and the main hub and also we are going to actually uh, we are going to actually uh, 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 create uh, those two HTML and static files. So, thank you very much for this time. Period next time we start creating those folders, incorporate them in PyCharm, and we start with HTML. Those who are taking HTML in university courses, they understand this is the fundamentals of the website or internet. So, those who are taking fundamentals of uh, a unit known as fundamentals of internet, now from next lesson, you must not miss. Thank you and welcome all.